Hi scientists! Today we're going to be reading the Sound and Light Boss Science Resources books titled Strings in Motion. Musical instruments make sounds. Some instruments have strings that vibrate. Look at these instruments. They have four or more strings. The player plucks or strums the strings. Guitar, oud, mandolin, banjo. Some strings are thin. Some strings are thick. Some strings are long. Some strings are short. The player's fingers can change the lengths of the strings. The player's fingers can change the length of the strings. Long, thick strings vibrate slowly. Their sound has a low pitch. Short, thin strings vibrate fast. Their pitch is high. Look at these strings and the instruments. Look at these stringed instruments. Violin, cello, and the bass fiddle. Which instrument do you think makes the highest sounds? A harp has many strings. Do you know why they are different lengths? Hmm. Pianos have strings inside. The player pushes down the little block called keys. Each key hits a little hammer. The hammer hits strings of different lengths. the long strings and those are the short strings. Look inside this grand piano. Which keys make high pitch sounds? Which keys make low pitch sounds? Thinking about strings in motion. What happens when you pluck the strings on a harp? What do you call the back and forth motion of strings? What string would you pluck to make a low pitch sound? Do low pitch strings vibrate fast or slow? That's the end of our reading for today. I'll see you soon.